I feel like probably you're going to know this based on what, how our interview has been going, is that <laughs> I watch The Crown like a documentary. It it's is a like, documentary. It's a huge we issue. consider it a documentary. I watch it and I'm like, wow, that's exactly what happened, especially as I <laughs> learn more about British history specifically, <laughs> especially your era of The Crown, Tobias. Uh-huh. Um, uh-huh. And, you know, is that is that a recurring theme where you're out on the street? Like in the UK, I think specifically, like, you know, I, I think that show is a massive hit there as it has been here in the U.S., and do you have to remind people like me constantly, like it's technically not a documentary. It is, in fact, a historical drama. It is not a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Who did we have on that actually confirmed it was we've, a documentary? Well, we Claire. forced Claire Foy to confirm it was a documentary. Yes. She was lying to you. You're <laughs> uh, <laughs> just trying to make you happy. Um, yeah, I mean, um, in a similar way, you know, obviously um, – there are overlaps in terms of it, these things are uh, are acts of curation. You, know, you have to choose what you're going to focus on and what you're going to draw out, and and uh, and that's true to the crown, and it's also true to to manhunt. When that's uh, one of the challenges of doing these things is that you have to be kind of nuanced about that. Um, and yeah, it's in, I mean, I, I worry that people are <laughs> <laughs> learning students history so like, via okay, the crown. So that's, that's raw history done. Yeah. Well, I did, but I, you know, I fully believe there's an episode where your mother is just like running around the palace. And I was That's like, right. that probably happened. I was like, I, that did I, I, I think that actually happened. <laughs> it did. She did come and live with them for a while. Yes, I yeah. think that is true. Um, yes, I mean, I guess, you know, all of this is about imagining what happens behind closed doors, what happens in those meetings, what, you know, the stuff that is not written down. Uh, and that's the exciting kind of frisson bit of historical drama. It's uh, when you kind of get the the personal in the story. Um, and yeah, it's, it's very fun to imagine, to, to imagine. Yeah. 